please check out Heels Pops and Chairs shots. Please check them out. They're very awesome and entertaining and funny. Legit. 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 They <laughs> Welcome back to Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots Wrestling Entertainment Champions. Oh, hey, yo, I'm ready to shoot the ish. Who's, who's down? It's Mischief, you heard. I'm so hyped, yo. We got a special guest today. JP, let him know, baby. JP Savage. Yes, yes, yes. You in for time tonight, folks. Woo! And if you, if you have been here before, you know what time it is. But if you're new in town, best believe we about to get legit up in here. Yeah, we know her well from beating down her competition out in Hillsbury, New Jersey. Synergy, stand up. Jersey, stand up. And people, let me remind you that legit is not a nickname. It's a fucking warning. Please welcome <laughs> Layla Legit. Hush. Talk What's up, guys? Me. What's up? That's a hell of an introduction. Thank you for that. Yes, uh, okay. I heard that somewhere. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I did say it. Uh, I think it was for Battle Club when I. Yeah. I think it was uh, for Battle, Battle Club. Wars. Ojo Wars. Ojo Wars. I saw it on. Oh, um, okay. That too. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell of a line, hell Yo, of a character, hell, hell of a talent, Layla. Talk to us a minute, man. You have such a wonderful story, and we're blessed to have you in our presence today. Please give us a, give us a, a how you feeling? How you doing? Oh, uh, I'm doing good. Uh, definitely a lot better now. You know, um, yeah, things are good. I'm looking forward to the holidays. Looking forward to eating. You know, love eating. Yes. So it's exciting. Eating is always the best part, right? <laughs> Absolutely. What, what's, what's the one thing you're looking forward to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we all thought of it at the same we're time. The same and we're like, yes, yes, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, it, is that we're really twins? So, you know, we just both said at the same time. What's your favorite dish? What a dish are you looking forward to during the holidays? Oh, man. Okay, right, so I actually sell So I'm Jewish. So I actually celebrate Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know any Hanukkah dishes. I mean, I like Jewish dishes. Uh, mm, like I like matzo ball soup. Oh, matzo ball soup, of course. Yeah, briskets, uh, pancake, uh, the pancake stuff. Pancake, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's all good. It all goes in. I mean, I, I can't say that, but yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, and then so like this week I'm. Salami. Oh, uh, dude, I love salami. <laughs> that's why no, no, no. I'm Dominican. So, oh, you're you Dominican. Know, cool. Ju- yes, I'm Dominican. So there's Jewish influence in DR. That's why salami, Sachicho, is such a big, uh, a big, big factor in our culture. And did and you just make that I, up? I mean, mm. Not at all. You made that up. You just made uh, that up. There's Jewish influence in Dominican dishes. Absolutely. You're lying. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the Dominican Republic is a melting pot. There's Lebanese influence. There's Jewish influence. There's Chinese influence. There's influence from all over the world in DR. So believe it or not. And the reason why I found out about uh, Jewish salami was because when I went my first year to Hofstra, um, it's a university in, in uh, Long Island, a lot of Jewish students, and I would be upstairs cooking salami with plantains and be like, oh, that smells good. And they put me on, man. Uh, <laughs> that, that sounds and good, man. Soup. Can you make me some? That sounds delicious. Absolutely, absolutely. You got to send that Jersey, right let over. Let us know. We'll, we'll get the plato fritura, we get it going for you. Yeah, and plantains are awesome, too. Oh, my God, I love plantains. So good. I'm, I'm How do you like now. them? Are you like, like, do you like them sweet and, like, candied or whatever? Or do you like them, like, toast stones? Or how do you like them? Plantains. I, I guess sweet, or I don't know, sweet, mushy, whatever, like, I don't know. However, <laughs> you guys feel Maduro, Maduro. 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 She likes the Maduro. Yeah. Sweet plantains go awesome. in. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I personally so, so, love Wait, hold on, hold on. Vic, Vic, you introduced her and you mentioned everywhere she was from, what middle school she went to, the whole nine, and you didn't, <laughs> you didn't mention the most important part that she's from Mother Russia, bro. I'm from Yo, Russia. Mother, Mother Russia. Russia. Shout that, out bro. to Moscow, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, how is how is how was how uh, yo you you have a hard a good story there because your transition ain't easy from coming over there to America and doing what you do. It's not it's not in like nothing to take lightly. Talk to me about that for a little bit. All right, so yeah, so okay, so I lived in an orphanage. All right, so I was like I lived with a lot of kids. Uh let's see. Um 
Yeah, it was, it was very strict there. Like, we had rules and everything. Like, uh, when we ate, we ate with everybody. You know, like, we had times. And, like, you had to finish your dishes, too. Like, if you didn't finish, you get in trouble. Ooh. You know? Oh, okay. They saw they, they showed y'all early then. Like, yeah. Like, the they were Dang. very, like, they were very strict. We had, like, our routines and everything. Um, Like, you know, like, I was lucky. Like, I had my sister there with me. Oh, oh, that's good. Awesome. I have, yeah, uh, it was so funny though, because like a lot of times I would get in trouble and she wouldn't. <laughs> and then, like, she, she's the older sister. We're twins, man. Oh, twins. Oh, okay. You're twins. Yeah. Wow. You know what? I came out first, so I technically older. You're older. Okay. <laughs> now I'm older. You, you had the gas of air first. That's a super matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like it's just like Russia is so different from like here. I mean, like. I remember, like, in Russia, like, one of the TV shows we would watch was Power Rangers. Nice. Oh. Nice. So, dude, like, that's my old time. Like, that's one of my favorite TV shows ever. Like, like watched it in Russia and then came over, over here, discovered they had it here. So, watched it here. You know. That was, was like a welcoming, right? That was like so, a welcome so my, home. My for... question to you, were you watching, were you watching the, the, the Asian, the, the Chinese uh, or Japanese Power Rangers or were you watching the American one? The American one, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the thing so, is, the proximity, it could have been, you know, you got that that first. Because remember, the American one is a ripoff. It's a sub dub. You know, all the fighting scenes are from the original. Okay, so everything uh, else is dub. All right. I right, think, right. I'm you get sure. the originals from Japan, well, but but I gotta ask you though, Green Ranger Tommy or White Ranger Tommy? I like. Oh, that's tough. I like the white. I like white. Oh, all right, let's go. I, okay, I was gonna okay. go with that one too. Okay. Yeah. And, and the ultimate question: Did you like the first Power Rangers movie? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a harsh critic, man. Like I just go to the movies to enjoy it. You know what I mean? I pretty much Absolutely. love everything. Um. So. Interesting, you say that, right? Like, because we're in a climate where everybody likes to criticize everything. Yeah. So how do you how do you feel about like fans that are just overly critical? Of, wrestling in general matches like they're all fucking breaking down every move and they're like oh my god i'm in the back room too podcasters it cracks me up i laugh at it i try not to take it too personal um because like i i try to value a lot of what the fans say because like at the end of the day we would not be here without them like you know because of them i get to live my dream but sometimes i think they just cross the line or like they take it way too serious, you know? Um, Cause sometimes when I read the comments, I'm just like, what the mm. hell do you know, man? Like what? <laughs> yeah. You know, it just, yeah. I, I feel like us performers, we, we can't really like read too much into that, you know, because man, like as much as they know, there's still, there's so much they don't know, like the behind the scenes and everything. But so I try not to take that too personal, you know, if they want to say it, like that's fine. It's their opinion. So I just pick and choose which one, like, you know. But, smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, you, you got to pick and choose them. You ever had to, like, smack up a, an audience <laughs> member or something for saying something slick? Show them how legit you are? I, to be honest, I don't think I have. Thankfully, no. Okay. Yeah, thank well, you. Well, you, you were very nice to us when we, we met you at Synergy. So you have a, a very nice energy to you. Even oh. though uh, this is after the match. And you beat somebody up. I forgot who it was, but you beat somebody up. And then you came by. I was like on guard, just in case. I'm like, she, she might want to cut a wrestle. Like, I don't know. I thought she was gonna hit toss you. I was, you got, close. She was, I was like, you got a little too close. Like, Layla, I was ready to sprawl. I'm just telling you because you just, yeah, Yo, you have an intimidating presence about you. But then in meeting you, you were such a sweetheart. It was amazing. Oh wow, yeah. I don't. I don't try to be intimidating. I don't know. I just, it just, I just have that look. I don't know. Yep. I'm really nice, guys. I promise. You, you, you <laughs> got, you got like a really good intensity to you. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. It, it, there's a fire. It's, it's really cool. You were, it was, yeah. it was cold as shit. I remember that. Day. It was cold as shit. There was snow on all the cars. Yep. And we were walking out, and you just happened to be walking out too. And we're like, "Yo, good match." He's like, "Mother." <laughs> you yeah. Turned, you turned around like. <laughs> yeah, and you but know, but then, but then, you just error. We're in both context. We're we're in a dark parking lot. There's not a over. light in sight. We're not a light in sight. In the lot. car, you know. So you would Sorry, yeah. yeah. Just a reaction. Yeah. It's yeah, all good. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> ready so, all day, every day. I love so it. Yeah, I love it. You yourself uh, were an actual scholastic wrestler as well, amateur wrestler, wrestled for USA. Um, so the intensity that Mr. is talking about, I'm sure it comes from that. Um, what was your worst ex- like injury when it came to wrestling in your in your in the beginning for you? Okay, so you're talking about amateur wrestling? Okay, so the worst I had uh, so, uh, shoulder surgery. So like I tore my labrum, and I believe Ooh. it was like maybe I started feeling the pain my sophomore year or starting in junior year, right? Oh, you didn't know. No, I well I felt the pain, but I just ignored it. I was just oh. like, I'm good, you know. I'm, I'm good. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we get it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you wonder. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So I I kept wrestling with the senior year, right? And then it was uh end of my senior year when I like got into professional ring, you know, and I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. But it was like the same movement that uh the guy like that was uh, I can't talk. It was like this, it was the same <laughs> movement that I felt like sharp pain in my shoulder, right? Mm. So then I was like, all right, I gotta get it checked out. And then you know they told me I had a torn labrum, so I probably wrestled with torn labrum for like a year, year and a half, but okay. I like, doing anything, you know. And yeah, the pain just got really bad. But for amateur wrestling, it was yeah. But then I had I told my labrum with professional wrestling on my left shoulder, so it's cool. It evened out, you know. That's <laughs> right, <laughs> right, awesome. <laughs> Love when, it. When you did do amateur wrestling, did you did you mostly roll around with men, with boys, like, or were there more females? Yeah. I know we had a couple of girls on our wrestling team in high school, um, but unfortunately, yeah. they weren't. I'm sure they weren't as talented as you were. <laughs> That's just uh, it's so funny because, like, like for the most part, when it came to sports, I was very good. I would pick it up. But when it came to amateur wrestling, oh my god, I was god awful. No I, shit, really? I was so bad, yeah. And so I started eighth grade, and we had one other girl, and she was great. She was like a beast. But it was just because all the movements they're not natural, you know. I just I was like, what is this? Like a single leg double, you know, like go behinds and everything. So that's why like, I'm really proud because like that I truly had to earn, you know, mm. uh, the training, all that I really had to earn it. Um, wait, Shiv, what was the question, though? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I, was, I was asking you whether you had to roll around more with guys or oh, yeah, with yeah. the girls. Or the guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, no, I know, it, was, it was guys. Like, even through my high school year, only one girl. So I was lucky to have the one girl, but it was all guys. And then outside of high school, I, like, I guess you could say I joined a team or, like, a girls club. And, you know, so I wrestled guys on the high school, but then outside of that, it was girls, you know. Mm. So, how, feel, how much did all of that help you to transition to professional wrestling? I owe wrestling everything. Amateur, <laughs> yeah, I would recommend, like, anybody to be able to wrestling because it helps with my footwork, like, the mentality. Um, yeah, I was able to pick up a lot of things very quickly when I stepped in the ring. So I owe everything that, to that. That that you did. Um, you do an amazing pop up power bomb. Uh, you got a move set. Let me tell you. A power bomb? I do power a pop-up bomb. Pop- you did. A, you. I saw you spot up a uh catch somebody with a pop up power bomb. Not power bomb. My bad. Back suplex. I'm sorry. It was wow, a backdrop. Okay. Pop up backdrop. Back backdrop. Yeah, oh, you pop them up and you backdrop. Yeah, not the power bomb. My fault. <laughs> that was my fault. My fault. <laughs> But the the execution though is amazing. Like you pick them up like nothing, and you grab them, you got back. It was dope. Do you prefer that style of of physicality in your matches, or do you prefer the submission more? Yes. Or like wrestling, <laughs> amateur wrestling type. Okay, so I'm gonna say a little bit of both because, like, a lot of girls don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so nah. I want to incorporate more of amateur wrestling style. Because, like, for me, I don't do, like, the fancy chain wrestling. I don't know how to do that. I just know mad work, you know? Like, get into the ground and then, like, transitioning out of that stuff. So I'm good with that. And then, yeah, man, like, I love strong style. I love hitting people and then getting hit back. Oh, man. I want the fans to believe in what we're doing, you know? <laughs> so I want to make it very believable. So sometimes it sucks, but at the end of the day, like, I want to give the fans something real, you know, and, like, something to go, like, holy shit, like, these girls can go at it, you know? So I got to ask, 
What? What's the last? That's time? so what real. Was the first time you got hit and you were like, shit, like damn, this motherfucker laid it off, laid it out. So the first time I, it was with, uh, cause my first debut match was with DJ Hyde. He was the okay. one that trained me. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, that guy hits hard, like, you know. <laughs> but I also like to, I, I always tell people like, please don't like hold back when you get good, in the ring. With me, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, as long as it's safe. Let it like hit me, you know, hit me. Mm-hmm. So a DJ really hit me because he's a big guy. Right. So I remember right. like a couple of times he hit me. I would just see like stars. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that your toughest match? And I mean toughest match, like you guys went at it. Like you brawled and you hit back. Was that like your toughest match? Or what was no. the match that you, you remember being the most hard hitting? Like you it had the happened. most fun. Oh, yeah? With Josh Alexander. They're in the collective. Oh, I, the walking weapon. The oh, walk, that match yeah. was crazy. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. That <sighs> was, I because I've had several hard hitting matches with like David Starr, John Silver, you know, but yeah, John, John Silver was a great match. Yeah, John was yeah. some great work with John. Yeah, yeah, or even like Christian Casanova. That was they were all great. But man, with Josh Alexander, that was a strong style match for me because every time he hit me, I felt it. You know. Oh, the pain was real, like you know, it was real. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm with well, you, guys. Well, I know, I know. One match that let me know for sure that you like a physical match was recent match you had at Bloodsport. Oh, oh Lord, it, it's like Bloodsport was built specifically for you. I wish oh, it was more. Gosh. I wish it was more physical. I wasn't physical oh, enough my to me. <laughs> like, that, that was light, JP. That, that was light. <laughs> <laughs> Who that was? Match? Who was that influence for you? What's up? Who, who was that influence for you to get in the ring? Like, what what was it, or who was it, rather, that inspired you to, like, really get in the ring? In professional? Like, yes, yes, in professional. Oh, all right, so you guys are going to laugh at me because everybody does. So the first professional match I ever saw, it was R-Truth versus Mike Knox on SmackDown. It was, that was the <laughs> first match I've ever seen because, like, I had my friend over – and I didn't even know what professional wrestling was until we like were flipping through channels and you know SmackDown was on and he just said to me he was like do you know what this is and I was like no so he's explaining it to me but I'm watching r Truth and Mike Knox in the ring and I was just like wow this is what I want to do it's crazy it's just crazy this is what it is Ron Killings is still in the game he yeah. was about to be a partner you know in the in the pay per view this weekend he was about to interject himself in a match like you saw one of the greats. And, and 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 understandable. It's nothing to laugh at, honestly. You yeah. can't laugh at the forty-seven time champ. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey. Hey, that's yeah, on that his was... wiki. That's on his yeah. Wikipedia page. That shit is legit. <laughs> this is legit. Yo. <laughs> so so now was rock was uh, our truth like what you eventually when you did transition to professional wrestling is that who you studied or uh, no. what wrestler did you study? I don't, I didn't, like, I think the first couple of years, I didn't study anybody. I just watched, like, I was a fan, like, you know, like, I was, man, I would, like, buy the DVDs, everything, like, I was just hooked on it. But one of, uh, actually, I would say, yeah, one of my favorites was Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Hardy. Like, uh, amazing. And then I, like, I discovered John Cena, you know, so, yeah. Legends, legends, legendary names, they'll do it to you. Every time I see you in the top rope, you're thinking of Jeff Hardy, huh? Sometimes, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, like, it, it be, it's very scary, like, going to the top rope. So you just, like, have to say, like, fuck it, and then just do it, you know? Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> see, no you're better than us. That's what many people would not do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are smart. You guys are smart. I'm just, you know. Killing my body. No, we're not that smart. Nah, We've been nah, to the rest of school. Yeah. We, we wanted to see what it was about. And, and we found that very quickly. And we were like, all right, cool. Let, let's stick to what we do. Uh, we're we're doing so, podcasts now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, no joke. Ain't no joke. Too funny. So who who were those people that you studied? Like, or, uh, other than, um, who'd you just say? Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. Hardy. Yeah. Jeff Hardy. Who, who did, because because when you said Jeff Hardy, I was like, oh, that's not who I expected at all, right? Because like styles, like stylistically, I was like, oh, that's not who I expected. So well, well nowadays, so like now, right. I'll, so now I'll study like uh, I'll do Kurt Angle, I'll do right. Taz, okay. 
Oh, oh Taz. That, that right. was closer to what I thought, right? Like, yeah. Every, every, too, every, since if I, I ever see you come out like, with a towel on your head. Oh. No, I, I yep. can't. No, I don't want. I don't want to get my ass kicked by him. I, <laughs> <laughs> that would be something he would have to say. Listen, you you deserve it because you legit, right? That just would have to be like that. It has to be a promo for it. Like, no, nah, nah, that's what has to be. Yo, but I can so day. see that. Maybe I can one so day. So see that though. Yep. But yeah. So and then like I still watch a lot of amateur wrestling stuff because you could do so much with that in professional wrestling, you know. So I just yeah. It definitely Phenomenal. helps a lot when you when it's kind of like goes it goes with emotions, right? I mean, it's it, it it can clearly prepare you for what you need to be smart about in the ring professionally. Um, you've been you've been to quite a few promotions, and the professionalism yeah, isn't always the same everywhere. There's different ways you they run corporations and, and promotions these days. Where has been a, a, a fun place for you to, for, for you to be at, or, or where, where have you enjoyed the most? Hmm. Okay, so I would say Beyond, being on Beyond, that was a pretty cool locker room. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Limit, Limitless Wrestling as well. Limitless. Uh, Germany, when I was in WXW, uh, loved everybody there. That was really cool. Awesome. How are the fans out there in Germany? Are yeah. they wild? Yeah. Man, and they sing too. I was like, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I was like, I've made it. They sing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Know. How's that feel? How's that rush feel? You're in the middle of the ring, in a headlock. The crowd is going bananas because of some some spot, and and you're just in there. Language. It, yeah. It's insane, man. Just crazy. Like I was, cause I was there in October, right? And the craziest thing I saw it was when it was uh Timothy Thatcher versus Bobby Gunn. And when Timothy Thatcher won, just chills, man, because the whole place just erupted. Because, you know, Timothy's like one of the most respected wrestlers. What a sweetheart he is. He's amazing. But, like, when he won, man, talk about, like, chills in a moment. Like, mm. that was just mm. amazing to see, like, live. What a, yeah, it was mm. awesome. Wow. That's an experience uh, in itself right there. Yeah. How about your experience in Japan? That was, an, uh, was also awesome. Like Ooh, that, Japan. Like, Japan was, I think, more challenging for me, like just because of the language barrier. Um, like culture like, difference. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah, and even like wrestling, because uh, because like I love hard hitting styles, so I was like, all right, this is my place. Um, but it was still very challenging because it's like their psychology is very different from here. So mm. a lot of times when they called matches, I would just you know be like. It didn't always like resonate with me, you know. Um, but it was just, it was still a hell of an experience to be there, like to be with the girls, like with the stardom girls too, like to be with stardom. Yeah. Um, to wrestle at Kirk and Hall. Like, I could have, I, yeah, that's what? No, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. You know, now, you, so, you, so, you wrestled a lot of guys, right? And, and, and mostly men to, in, in these, in these, in these promotions. Is star it all is an all woman promotion something you see yourself doing? Uh well, I, I, well favoring, I'm seeing I'm I meant I'm sorry, I meant favoring. Like would you prefer that? Is that something you would prefer? I don't know. I love wrestling guys. I do. Uh I don't know, like I don't know. Cause I, I mean I love wrestling girls too, but there's obviously a difference for like this is not the same. You think it'd be more physical with guys? Yeah, because it's like when I wrestled the guys, like it just they put me on a whole other level. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just, yeah, I, I guess to me it depends for girls like what opponent I face. You know? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. yeah I want to say too much. Like, and, and I would, I would. Oh, I'm sorry, JP. Um, I'm is so there anybody rude. in the near future that like you'd like to get your hands on somebody that you want to work on, like somebody that you really want to have a match with? Yeah, so two. Uh, one Ooh. is um, Miko Satamora. Ooh, that's she's a thing. Like, yeah, I just yeah, she's phenomenal. Like when I met her in Japan, I just was like, oh, can we just get in the ring right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, please. please. <laughs> yeah. So oh and then okay. another one is Heidi Katrina. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You know, Heidi yeah, Katrina. Heidi Katrina. I, yeah. I have no idea who Heidi Katrina is. Yeah. <laughs> who is that? You know? what, okay. what, what, no, what, what, what makes you stand out about her in particular? 
So with Heidi, mm -hmm. well, I met her once at um. What's, what's the point? Oh my god, it has to do with Beyond Women's Revolution. Okay. Okay. So I met her there, and man, we just like, we just clicked. Like talking to her was great. Like, uh, she was just such a sweet person. And then like when I saw her in the ring, I was like, okay, I feel like we can have a really great mm -hmm. match, you know? Because she's she's strong, man. Like she's really freaking strong. She is. She's brolic. She's yeah. She's like phenomenally in amazing shape. Yeah. But I, I say that like, with all respect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I just no, just like talking to her and like getting to meet her. Like I was just like, we would have a great match, you know. Like I have a lot of respect for her, so I think we would kill it. It, it makes sense. Um, she, you know, that it's more of that British style, British strong style wrestling, right? Yeah. And she herself is a very physical uh wrestler, so I can see that. And yeah. you know, I, I will say that that like your best matches have been against guys, uh, but. It's when you you're up against a a, a worthy com opponent when it comes to the women. Like you have matches like with Mercedes Mar Martinez that was phenomenal, oh, right? So when you have somebody that that can exactly. actually bring in the ring as well, it, it's a match to be had. Exactly, yeah. and that, that's yeah. the big thing. Yeah, you know, because like uh, it's like a lot of girls don't have the background that I do, you know. So a lot of times, like when I try to do stuff, or like I just don't know if I could trust that. You know, there's a lot of trust. You know, and working it. working with your opponent and everything. So, yeah. Have you have you worked with Ashley in the past? Yeah, yeah. I was such a baby though. Like, <laughs> like I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was such a baby though. So, like the first time I wrestled her was in uh, was in NYWC. It was in New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, in, wow. Okay. I run our parts. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she okay. beat me, and she reminds me of that. Every time, I bet. He does, man. Every time. And then I was, I wrestled her in the tag team, and she beat me then as well. So I'm owing to against oh, her. Oh, you're not looking so good uh, right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Does she still hold it up against you right now? Does she still talk about it? Yes, man. With everything. She's you know why, right? Yeah. You know why, right? Because she knows that's not gonna happen ever again. It might have to be a match with her and her sister against you to be able to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so being in the business, um, you know, you have your partners in the business, her sisters in the business. How 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 does that mix with family? How does that like oh, travel time? How does that affect them? Holidays coming up. Yeah. Um Wait, so say that again. Has a lot. <laughs> I actually like seven questions in one. Uh, you know, having, you know, being in a relationship in the business, right? How, how do you guys manage that when it comes to like holidays and, and working for different promotions, different yeah. schedules? So it's kind of tough because like she lives in Rhode Island. She's, so she's four hours away from me. But thankfully, like we, we make it work. Um, uh, like a lot of times we, we will be on the same shows. Or if not, like, I'll just come up and, you know, if she has a show, I'll go with her. You know, that's what I did in the beginning, too. Because she was, like, everywhere, and I was just, like, nowhere. <laughs> but, but, like, I really do owe her a lot because she, like, got, like, she pushed me to get out of, like, CCW and, like, explore mm. more stuff. You know, mm. spread my wings. So I owe her a lot of, like, I owe her for that. Uh, but, like, with holidays, like, I'm this Thursday, I'm going to go up to her, celebrate with her. You know, it's just so funny because like I'm Jewish, so I do Hanukkah, but then I also get to do Christmas with her now. So that's what a wow. cheater! <laughs> <laughs> you just cool. met. You just <laughs> met. <laughs> I'm mad as hell. She gets all the gifts. <laughs> so, but we've been like very lucky because like it's like you, it's hard to date somebody in the business and like you know because a lot of people are assholes. I'm just gonna be honest, but I got very lucky with her. You know, very lucky with her. That's awesome. You hear that? Very happy I'm putting here. you over. I am putting you over. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it too because she did awesome, awesome in the previous pay per view at Impact. Awesome yeah. job. She's yeah. great. Yeah. Both. Yeah, they're they're great. Great people too. Been a fan since I saw her. Definitely at NWA. Yeah. Been in some yeah. work, man. It was a great, great promotion while it was running. Back up again, but it's not going to be the same. It's not the same, yeah, oh, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. You can feel that energy in that studio. Of course, yeah.
Well, I would have been fun. A Layla, a Layla run in NWA. Yeah, Layla. I was just going to say, Layla to the NWA. See some, see some stuff, <laughs> Thunder Rosa action, man? No, that would have been, been so much fun. Layla Thunder Rosa. Oh, oh, yeah, Thunder Rosa, too. She's another good one. I would love Ooh. to wrestle her. That would be yes. phenomenal. Oh my Take god. Take my money. Take my money. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Layla, I want to appreciate appreciate you for being on and give us the time of day today. Um glad we got it to work out. Uh we like to work we like to end with a quick round of chair shots. We call it the lightning round. Uh mischief, wanna take it away? You you're such an asshole. You always say it backwards. <laughs> Dude, this was it the other <laughs> It's like she's a bitch. I like your glasses. They're like, <laughs> they look like you look like Mickey Mouse with them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. 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 Oh, I don't Oh, that's a hard cheat meal. Uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, I mean, I bread. Let's do bread. Bread, just any bread. Yeah, just, I love oh, bread. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know cookies. I don't know everything. Ooh, I don't cookies. Know. <laughs> Whatever. We'll go, go, oh, cookies. Cookies moment. are better. What's up? <laughs> Whatever's in front of you at that moment. <laughs> yes, that's a great yeah. answer. Whatever's in front of you. Okay. What's your? Okay. All right, so, what's your favorite movie? Uh, okay, so, uh, I'm gonna do for animation Mulan. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Did you like the, the 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 Did you like the real animation one, the live action one? It was good. It was okay. It's just not the same. Like right. They right. didn't even play any of the music from like. Nope. I was nope. mad. But <laughs> it, was not, it just seemed like a whole different movie, honestly. Yeah, and then oh man, and then let's see live action. Oh, that's so hard. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say one of my favorite is uh, it's comedy RV. Oh, okay, okay, Robert, nice, nice. Robert, Robert Williams, yeah. It's so good. Oh, oh all right, yeah. Isn't, nice. Isn't, uh, Lindsay Lohan in that one? No, 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 no. RV's with Who's his daughter Williams? in that? Yeah, Robin Williams. Who's his daughter in that? Uh, JoJo. JoJo, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good movie, man. I so Very good movie. <laughs> Robin Williams, the man, uh, man. Robin he is Williams the man. The man. If you can uh, have any superpower, what would it be? Look at all the ones she wants to say and won't say. Yeah, they go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Let's see. Oh God, there's so many good ones. You know, I'm just gonna say, uh, fly. If I could fly. Okay. To okay. Fly. That's, that's a good see, one. That that's one yeah. of the wrestler favorites. Yeah. Fly, yeah. Flying and teleportation. It's always travel related. Oh, tell yes, yes. Would be amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's somebody you want to meet, either real or fictional? The Rock. The Rock. What would you say to him? What's the first thing you say when you see him? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I thought that's, that's original. You know? That's, that's, that's original. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, do you know why she says that? Look at what she said. She said hi and smiled because she knows she's gonna get a high right back with that big smile. <laughs> that's it, right? I would, yeah, yeah I, would, I don't know what that. If I met him, I'd be like, uh, I, I don't know. I might faint. I don't know. But... <laughs> Make you reconsider. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, bye. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> what's uh, what's the worst purchase you've ever made? The worst purchase. Wow, I don't oh, the worst purchase. That's tough. I don't know. I'm usually good with picking stuff. I I don't know. So, hey, you good with your money like that? Good for you, girl. That's kind of, I don't know. So you might that's recently... the right one to be stumped on. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know. Actually. That's good. JP bought a full made PS5. <laughs> <laughs> That just happened. That just happened. You said she sold and everything. Uh, no, I got a bullet. Yeah, I, I, I bought a PS5, or so I thought. And then I get a, an alert from the company. Oh, yeah, you know, ask for your money back from your bank because uh, we're, we definitely are not a company. At least it's about, <laughs> at least wow. a box full of bricks didn't get to your house. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least, at least they emailed me to let me know they fucked me, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the common crazy, courtesy. Though. 
you know, you shake my hand after they just hit my ass. <laughs> but, <you> know, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. Fair enough. Um, so you kind of mentioned uh, your injuries before, right? What's the dumbest absolute way you've been injured in your entire career that you're like, this shit is so dumb. I can't believe uh, this. I got it. Yes. I love the story. Uh, that's the one. Story. That's the one. So it was in my house. It was in the basement, right? And me and my friend and my sister, we were like doing gymnastics stuff, right? So my dumb ass, you know, thinks I'm so good and everything. I did a round off and I was about to do like a round off back handspring. But I misjudged the wall. So I freaking went to do the round off. And as soon as I went to do this, my head just freaking hit the wall and my wrist just hit the wall. The wall and this, it, it like I like cried. I'm pretty sure like I peed a little bit in my pants. It was oh bad. It was, <laughs> it was oh like it was so funny, but like at the same time, like how stupid am I? Like it was. <laughs> and then a three hour, yeah, the, yeah, three hours in the emergency room or the ER, whatever. Oh wow. my god! But that was oh. pretty bad. <laughs> well, you'll never forget it. No, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. How, how many languages do you speak and what are they? Oh, man. So I used to be two, Russian and English. Now it's just English. <laughs> Wait, so you don't know any Russian at all? I know a little bit, but like, I can't even give you a sentence. I've lost it. Well, maybe it's... you can help me out because I don't know any Russian oh, at all. Boy. But I did have an experience a few years back that just always left me confused, right? Oh, okay. I was in Brooklyn. <laughs> Where is this guy? Oh, hit me out, hit me out. <laughs> Wait, whoa! Oh, hit me out, hit me out, I was in Brooklyn. This is like a couple years ago. I was in Brooklyn, and I'm about to cross the street. Mm -hmm. And there's this elderly woman that's about to cross. So I, you know, she's having a little bit of trouble with her car, so I go to help her. And I help her all the way to the corner. She gives me this look. Oh, and, and I never forget the words. It's like, me nieta Lushna. You know what she probably this. said to you? What did she say? Fuck off. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. She seemed annoyed. She seemed annoyed, and I was perplexed. I was like, wait, I thought I just did a good deed. And then I realized I was What's in it? Brooklyn. Russians are <laughs> all like, like, not to show myself. Like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a good Russian, but man, something Russian goes <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, they're all, they, I don't know. It's like they're always angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in Russia. <laughs> Dude, it's so cold in Russia. Yeah. Like I mean, when I came here, I used to like in the winter, I would not wear sweatshirts or anything. I would just come out in, in t-shirts, you know? I'm used to it. But but now, fuck that. I'm like full American. I <laughs> Of course. <laughs> You're like, I want the fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I have five boots on me now. It's too cold. Do you? Uh, do I you... Have, like, I wish I knew what she said to you, but I'm thinking it's like, F you, man. Like, what, what it couldn't be anything good. It, it couldn't be. Yeah. I never even tried to look it because I, I don't know how to spell it. I just remember her saying it and her the scowl she gave me that I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And I just kept the moving. So I was like, damn. And I'm like, I, I'm in Brooklyn and it's the Russian part of Brooklyn. And I'm like, I guess this is what happened. Her you other hand was on her shank. Like, yo, you were... Like, you know what I mean? Like, she had a little scarf over her head. You know what I mean? Like, old lady with white hair, little scarf. With the glasses. Uh, I was like, I'm sorry. Was you wasn't why that you got out of there. No, no, listen, listen. Listen. It reminded me a lot of my grandmother. So it's fine. And it reminded me a lot of my grandmother. So it's fine. I was just... She I was told just you to surprised. fuck off. Yeah, your, your grandmother told you, told you to fuck off all the time. Pretty much. In a little um, polite of way. Right. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you watch any sports? Hell yeah. What do you watch and what do you, who do you like? Nice. So I love uh, Yankees, diehard Yankee fan. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So, my, so my favorite player was uh, Hideki Matsui. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. she liked the Yankees up. when they were the Yankees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I watched the Knicks, but they're trash. Wow. Uh, how about right now? And, and we all, right we now? can all have a moment of time. They, 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 no, they looking right good. Now? Quickly. They're looking good right now. Yes, they are. They are. Well, they're looking good. Jinx. Yes, you're right. You're right. We'll they, they're young. They're young. I'm not saying playoffs. I'm not saying playoffs. No, 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 no. They're looking okay. They're playing defense. You can buy some tickets. You can buy some tickets. On the low, low. On the low, low. Yeah, the on the low, low. 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 <laughs> 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 so for football, this is like the only non-New York team I like, but they're they're trash too right now. Oh, the Eagles, man. Freaking the Eagles. The Eagles. Oh. See, that's because you're from South Jersey. It's Philly. But you got Hirsch. He's he's putting in work now, I guess. The, so, so, so some saving grace. What's up? 
Do you call it a hoagie? A hoagie? Well, the sandwich? Like, you know, a sandwich, oh, no. yeah. Sometimes, I guess, yeah. Sometimes, I'm oh. okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, this motherfucker came out of well, the field. You grew up in Jersey, right? Yeah. I just call it a sandwich. I just call it a sandwich. So, what's, what's your favorite Jersey food then? Oh, crap. Jersey food? Uh, what, Jersey what, what food. Is uh, what hey, wait. What consists of Jersey food? Because I don't know. I didn't know we had an exclusive. Everything. Pizza could be considered Jersey food. Yeah, what is that? New York. That's Italian that's food. food. Okay, I'll, I'll do Italian food. New York. I love Italian food. Okay, uh, okay. So one of my favorites is uh, chicken franchise. Yeah. You know, you know have that you is. That yeah. as nice. 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 Have you ever had that as a pizza? No, chicken franchise as a pizza? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I don't they have never even heard of that, but okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So topic. Let me go to chicken franchise and a grandma. <laughs> nice. Like six wait, wait. Pop eat our house. Nice. Shout out to Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Angelo. Ah, shout out yeah. to Angelo. No, Mister, before no you ask the two questions, I have one one final question. Because it's, it's Layla Hirsch we got here. And, and she's a, a Star Wars fan. So I got to ask you this question. Okay. What was your reaction to finding out that Darth Vader was black? <laughs> what? Damn, you, you ruined it. <laughs> you I don't ruined it. it. You, do you know who, the, who plays the role of Darth Vader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jones? Right, right. What was my reaction? Like, that shit, that shit blew my mind. I didn't know. Oh, I was like, okay. I, I didn't, I don't know. I was cool with it. <laughs> you were the same guy had the same voice of Mufasa? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was exciting for JP. <laughs> Listen, when I heard about that, I was like, what? Oh, uh, no. You made it. We made, I, <laughs> we made it, right? Okay. No, I don't That's know, what man. Samuel Jackson signed on. Yeah, I'm I don't, not a big, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but like I would love to know because everybody's getting into because of the Mandalorian and what and whatnot. What? How would you order the films and recommend a new you watcher to to watch? Ah, oh, man, I don't even. To be honest, I would just tell them to watch the Mandalorian for Baby Yoda. I love Okay. It. Yeah, I, I've been watching it for the. T- <laughs> I've been. I'm, 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 I started it, so I'm like trying to get into it. I just don't know which ones, which movies are better. I don't, man. I don't really know. Cause to be honest, I like. I think a year ago, Ashley was the one that really got me to watch all of them. So I mean, I don't know. So, yeah. so that's something that you and Gabby Ortiz definitely uh, go crazy over, Baby Yoda. Dude, I want that as my child. I really do. She has, a, she, has a, she has a tree decorated as Baby Yoda. That's yeah. I'm yeah. I would do that too. I have the I have like the Build a Bear Baby Yoda. Nice. I have like all the pops. Oh god, she's so cute. Some <laughs> people thought about gremlins back in the day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after midnight. I know what the worst purchase lately. Give me the water. All right. <laughs> Ah, no, it's the best purchase, man. It's the best purchase. <laughs> All right. Let's bring it back to wrestling for a second. Who is more important, in your opinion, the face or the heel? Neither. Neither? Yeah. I, I don't even, yeah. Huh? If your face so, cool, if your heel cool, I don't care. <laughs> who's your, so what's your favorite role to play? Or do you have one? Uh... I like to be me. Just me. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I have, I can be a baby face, but sometimes I can be a heel. But like, it's so funny, like when promoters ask me, like, what are you? I, agree. But I just say like, I'm just me, man. Like, you know, when I need to be an asshole, I will be. When I gotta be, you know, be nice and all that, I will be. If you piss me off, you know, you're like, sorry, man. Like, you know, I don't know. I, I, Broken I, arm. But that's good because that makes you available to, to to multiple opportunities, either which way they need you for. And then that's the fact that you can do both. That's just amazing. Oh, I'm not saying I can do both. I'm not saying that. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I, I think she's saying that the in ring works for herself. Exactly. Right? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Now, no matter what, she goes in the ring, she's going to outperform anybody she steps in the ring with. Fair enough. Man, well, you, um, you, you can just talk for me. You're good. Man. Look out. Look out. Look out. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to manage it. Manage Layla Hurst. 
Do you have any like? Do you have any? Shut up, bitch! <laughs> God damn it! Every time, every time. Now, um, do you have any pre-show rituals like to get you in the game, to get to get your head in the game? Uh, so it's funny, like, when I did, like, amateur wrestling, like, right before I go out, like, I will just, like, slap my arm, slap my legs, like, just, you know, get me pumped. Uh, but you know what's funny? Like, before a match, it could be, like, an hour before, 20 minutes before, I always just, I have to walk back and forth. I pace back and forth. I cannot sit still, you know? I don't know if that's a ritual or not, but, like, I just, I always, I'm constantly moving, you know? Uh, but, yeah, right before I go out, I just kind of try to, like, just hit myself, you know, like, let's go. I'm ready for this. That's You're in the back, cool. like, Goldberg and shit? Just get out. <laughs> 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 no, what is that? No, it's just <laughs> what is that, yeah. Someone's getting fucked up back there. What happened? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's just Layla. It's just Layla, <laughs> yeah. That's Layla. Just get ready. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and everything. Yo, we really appreciate it. Uh, what's one message you want to leave your fans with? Here right now, cut your promo, sell it, let them know who you are, what you came to do. All right, so I don't know how to cut a promo, but <laughs> oh, we covered that in the intro. You do pretty well. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, let's see, this is uh, it's like a message. So, uh, let me see, just uh, thank you for supporting me. Uh, really, yeah, thank I'm very thankful for you guys, and uh, just uh, just keep watching, you know. Keep watching, and uh, I have big things coming up, and hopefully soon I can announce it. But other than that, thank you for supporting me, guys. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for being here, Layla. We appreciate your time. We got to do this again. Please hit us up. Well, next time you're in the Jersey area, we're going to definitely check out one of your shows. Um, we can we definitely support you and everything you do. We remember you back from the Synergy Day, so best believe we're going to be your number one supporters going forward. Thank um, you, guys. you guys are awesome. Entertaining. I'll, 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 <laughs> thank you thank so you. much, Layla. I appreciate you. We definitely got to do this again. And please take care and please Definitely. be safe out there in the times right now. Thanks, Happy guys. Holidays. Thank you so much. And blessings for everything coming your way 2021. Yes. Keep rocking. So let's keep being let's you. Let's hope it's a good year for everybody, man. Let's hope it's yes, a good yes, year. Yes. Just keep being Nine you. And it's going to happen. Oh.